Hey water signs and welcome back to Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is your weekly update, okay? So anywhere from the um, 11th to the 18th, this is for you, give or take a couple of days. It is a very general message, so please keep that in mind that it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does and leave what does not for the next person, okay? Cross watchers are welcome as well. Um, and again, yeah, like the video, you guys. Subscribe, comment, I comment back. The more you interact with the content on the channel, the more it puts your energy into these messages, and I am more likely to pick up on your situation. So let's see um i just saw the imperfect harmony card it really stuck out to me um no not in perfect harmony a grand symphony okay but in perfect harmony is in this card is um in this deck as well so something's going in alignment grand symphony there could be a celebration near or some sort of event um i've gotten this for the earth signs first heavily in the air signs video and now for you guys the water signs so I don't know if um, as a collective, something big is developing this week, something grand, something dreamy, wish come true, um, like some sort of event or something. All right, let's see what's going on. Um, but I say that to say that you could be dealing with the earth or air sign or have that highly aspect in your chart. So check out those videos, okay? Make sure you're watching, you know, your sun, your moon, your rising and your north node, your Venus, any of your placements, go ahead and watch it, okay? So let's see if we can get one card for the water signs for this week, Spirit. What's going on? I do see this birds of a feather card, okay? Um, and then the power of purpose, birds of a feather. Could be networking or meeting someone, um, someone very important this week. But I want to pull, I want one card to fall out. So let's see. What's going on, water signs? What's happening for you this week? was developing a lot of like big grand celebratory energy for the collective okay um so we y'all birds of a feather i love it and like hate it at the same time when this happens when spirit does it i'll see a card and it's like it sticks out but i'm like no let me keep shuffling birds of a feather something is meant to be okay so you meeting someone or you like collaborating with someone or you um possibly reconciling making amends like getting back in touch with someone something dealing with a group or just you and someone else something is meant to be this week at the bottom of the deck we have earth magic okay so you're making magic happen um again something grand it's on like a large scale for the collective it's happening this week okay so let's see let's get into it let's see if the energy cards actually um say what comes out but y'all that's crazy community look at this so the birds of the feather of a feather card right card number 25 Something about stars too, like a lot of stars, the spotlight, somebody's being recognized this week or somebody's being put on, you're signing a contract. This could be in regards to music, acting, singing, modeling, some sort of development here, online, uh, social media, YouTube and something's happening, okay? Um, stars are very prevalent here. Again, I wouldn't be, I'm feeling Aquarius energy for you guys, okay? So an Aquarius could be significant um but birds of a feather okay card number 27 i feel like it's gonna like it's gonna knock you off of your grid like your energy is gonna be all over the place because i feel like i'm rambling but this is card number 27 um i'm sorry 25 breaking down to a seven at the bottom of the deck we have community card card number seven right earth signs has seven 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 very heavy in their chart you could be collaborating with an earth sign or again you guys look at all of your major placements sun moon rising north node to get a full message there's a full message that you guys need to get here even with this community card what i say something dealing with a star okay stardom the spotlight um 
recognition, celebratory energy here. Something big is happening for you guys. This community card is support, okay? It's networking. It's, a, it's all eyes on you energy. Look at that, um, the feminine energy in the middle. It's kind of like you guys are the star this week, okay? All right, but I split the deck. We have the deceit card, okay? This is card number 25. Also, something about the number 25 breaking down to this to a seven. Now you guys have seven, 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 like the earth signs. Um, this deceit energy, okay? Mm, it almost feels like a jealous energy or envious energy or someone trying to steal the shine or somebody feels a certain type of way because you're getting this recognition. People are celebrating you. Okay, so just just be a little bit um aware on guard. Could be a Capricorn, Sagittarius, does not have to be. But I just saw the indecisive card. So it's almost as if you're it, okay? You you are it or you have it, this talent, this skill. People want to see you, hear you, be around you. Somebody in your energy is trying to make you second guess yourself, okay? Somebody's trying to make you um um just not sure with yourself with this indecision card look at this okay but it's like what's for you is for, is for you somebody's trying to tie you up either mentally mentally okay emotionally um hopefully it's not physically but someone wants to stop whatever this is that's developing for you guys this week wow okay all right let's see what energy cards come out that was the angel of balance wanting to come out for you guys so maintain your balance um Trust yourself, your intuition. I, I kind of feel like somebody could be giving you the wrong advice as well. It's like somebody's trying to talk you out of something because they see you about to make it. They see you about to become a star or something's about to develop for you. Um, and they're trying to, it's like a jealous um, energy, okay? So we have the storm warning card popped out first for you guys. And then we have door to value. Okay, so I'm getting good energy with this. There's a shakeup that's coming with this door to value. Look what is coming in for you. A door of opportunity, money, recognition, stardom, something, um, something about you being on like a big screen or people seeing your face, billboard, commercial energy. Okay, um, I do see this fifth chakra at the bottom of the deck. So I don't know. Um, something with speaking as well. Some of you guys could be public speakers. All right, I see the angel of love. All right, some of you guys are healers in some sort of way. Um, something you do is very therapeutic for others. Let's see if I can get three more cards. We have anxiety right in the middle of the reading. Y'all, we got the woman holding the coin. Okay, wow. And then we got the angel of balance. It was trying to pop out and it came out here. And at the bottom of the deck, we got the seventh chakra, the crown chakra. You are the star, okay? You have some sort of knowledge. Whatever this is that someone's like not wanting you to get or trying to take away or block the opportunity, it's not going to work, okay? Because you have the knowledge. You have the power. You have a gift. Some of you guys have, have, um, you have some sort of gift that's developing here or that's taking off this week. We got the temple path right behind this, this crown chakra. You having a gift, right? Temple path. You are in alignment on your right path. Keep going appreciation right is near but right behind appreciation we get what that all tied up card and we got the garden and the gate okay and we got this attachment card this is somebody that's very low vibrational okay somebody could have left behind or someone who doesn't want to see your world transform into this greatness somebody that's attached to you trying to keep you attached to them trying to make you second guess yourself make you nervous it's like a control thing. Somebody doesn't want you to um, get whatever this is that's coming for you, but you're going to get it regardless. All right. Let's see. I want to put that crown chakra back at the bottom of the deck. Um, I have so much to say. So maybe why that that's why the throat chakra is coming in. So maybe somebody's going to have a lot to say to you or you're going to have a lot to say in regards to whatever this is that's coming in. Um, with this anxiety card in the middle, this is about like a storm leaving. Okay. You're anxious about something, this opportunity. Then you have the woman holding the coin and angel of balance. You're going to get whatever this is because you're showing up as this woman holding the coin. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Okay. So this could be someone that's very important to you this week, um, or, you know, will be somebody's giving you something some is a lot of money a lot of stability coming in for you guys okay so let's see what the tarot has to say and it could be somebody jealous of that a jealous of this what's at the bottom of the deck jealous of this emotional fulfillment coming in for you with this ten of cups 
Then I split the deck. We got the three of cups, celebration, celebratory energy, again, reconciliation. There is, it almost feels like you guys are winning a lotto or the jackpot or something really huge, okay, is going in your favor. Um, I'm loving the energy this week. I don't know what y'all did for like the new moon, but I feel like a lot of you guys have been trying to manifest this greatness into your life. But yeah, for all the elements so far, this is what's coming in. I saw the Knight of Swords, so it's coming in really quick. Something's happening very fast. What's the Storm Warning card for my water signs? Wow. What's the Storm Warning card? I don't even, I don't even know what to um, entitle this video because the energy is crazy. So we got the Death card, we got the Seven of Wands, and we got the Fool card. So things are shaking up. This Death card is about an, an ending. A Scorpio could be um in the picture it does not have to be um this is water energy though so you could be a scorpio watching this but something is developing there's an ending here and there's a rebirth a new beginning seven of wands and the full card whatever this new beginning is is going to put you on top okay it's going to build your confidence it's going to put you in a higher position it's going to um lead you into this new beginning with this full energy just leap of faith it's a lot of aries energy showing up here too um, we got the moon card at the bottom of the deck. So this is cancer energy. All right. Um, it could be or feel a little scary, whatever's going on. Or maybe there's just a lack of clarity or fear um, that something's not going to work out here. Okay. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What's this door to value? Okay. That's a lie. I'm going to take the ones that flipped over, you guys. Door to value. First card out. We have the eight of wands. This is incoming communication. Something coming in very quickly for you, right? Then we have the judgment card. Somebody is choosing you. You're being chosen for something. Judgment has been called. And then we have the eight of cups here. Okay. So this eight of cups feels like someone else's energy. Um, who kind of is just not happy for you or is going to feel some sort of type of way or feel left out, okay? Maybe you're being chosen and someone else isn't. Something about the number eight is sticking out as well here. Um, or it could kind of feel as if, I don't know. It feels like whatever's happening for you is requiring you to leave something, someone, or some sort of phase or part of you behind, but it's for the betterment, okay? Because something better, something more grand is coming in. So maybe you have mixed feelings, mixed emotions about what's going on, what's coming in for you guys. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this is your energy, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, it feels like you're content. So maybe this is someone else feeling some type of way, feeling like, um... Some type of way, maybe because it's not happening to them, or I don't know. What's this anxiety card? What's going on with this anxiety card for my water signs for this week, spirit? Okay, so the devil and the hangman. A lot of you guys are worried, like you're well aware of who this person or people are, okay? And you're worried about them holding you back, about them um, maybe blocking this opportunity for you, keeping you stagnant. Because the devil and the, and the um, hangman, I don't really like this energy very and um, very much so energy of being bound to something, stuck, unable to move or get away or stagnant, okay? So... But it feels like this is, um, whatever this storm is for you is leaving, okay? Or you're getting away from this type of energy, a type of person. Yeah, look, at the bottom of the deck, you got the nine of wands. You're very defensive towards whoever this is. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, does not have to be. You're worried about something or someone from your past, um, catching up to you. Water signs, that's really what I'm getting. Three of Pentacles could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn as well, but this is coming out with the woman holding a coin. So this is Pentacles on top of Pentacles. This is in regards to work. Like you're you're either you're given um some sort of higher position, some sort of promotion here. Something's working out for you. Heavy emphasis on collaborations. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck, but somebody is trying to steal this joy from you or get away with something. Two of Cups behind that. It could have been an old lover, okay? And with the Six of Wands energy and Page of Wands, they're hearing about your success. Look at this. Look at this. They're hearing the good news about your success, right? Heavy fire energy showing up, so it could be a fire sign. Ten of Cups and the Empress behind that and the High Priestess, they know that you're very intuitive, you're gifted, you're the Empress, okay? You got some sort of money, legacy coming in for you, and they are not happy about it. So this person could be showing back up, acting like they're your friend, acting like they're buddy-buddy, or just resurfacing this week. Whenever you get whatever you get, it feels like someone or more than one person will be showing their face as if they're they've been down for you and they really haven't been all right so let's see 
What's this angel of balance coming to balance all of this out for you? What's going on with this angel of balance for my water signs? What's going on? I don't even know what to title this reading. This is, the energy is crazy. All right, wow. Okay, so we have the temperance card and the ace of swords that came out. Angel of balance. And what do you have with the angel balance? Balance, more balance. The temperance card, fire energy, ace of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um, it's like divinely orchestrated. Like something's being balanced out. There's a victory. Something's going in your favor. Now I'm like feeling the energy of court. I don't know if you've been battling a court situation here. Three of swords right here. So it could have been something that you were disappointed about, broken about before in the past, but now it's balancing out. And then a page of cups here as well. Um, it feels like there's some sort of, um, if it's not a fire sign, it could be any sign. Um, it could be a water sign, but almost as if somebody is very greedy, someone who's taken a lot for you. Someone feels like they deserve um, this prize, this promotion, this recognition, this whatever this is for you. Somebody feels very entitled to your success here and it's not happening. I'm telling you right now, it's not happening. Okay, so let's see what um, divine door card cards wants to come out for you guys divine messages with doors of opportunity anything else you need to know regarding this for my water signs wow okay it's not happening i keep feeling i keep hearing it's not happening so i don't know if this is you telling this person um it's not happening somebody's trying to like they feel entitled to your success or whatever this is for you and you you are not going it's not happening Wow, the three. Okay, I'm going to show y'all. Let's get one more. Let's get one more. This was the same energy from the um from the air signs and the earth signs a little bit too, to be honest. Um, So you guys have three of cups, right? It says a toast of friendship in the afternoon sun, three cups and happiness, three cheers are done. Celebration is near. All right, something's coming in for you. It's all for you. The next card we have out is sunset. It says time here turns to release and unfurl old cords of pain fade as the sun's light burns. Pass this card on. So old cords of pain fade away. Okay, the tables have turned. Times have changed. Times have turned. You now have the leg up. Okay, with the earth signs, I was getting the energy of reaping season. Um, Reaping all the seeds that, that you've sown, all the goodness is coming back to you, for you. And that's what I get with that sunset card. We also have forgive and forget, a ritual cleansing of pain and lies, arise and awaken, see a new sunrise. See a new sunrise, right? And then you got the sunset card. Something is completely changing for you. Complete 360 for the better, okay? Where there was darkness, there is now light. Something is being illuminated here, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have freedom flows. Don't hold yourself back from worldly freedom. Dream grand things for divine, sacred reason. Keep your intentions pure is what I'm feeling the need to tell you. Don't worry about anybody that has it um, out for you in regards to negative intentions. Um, yeah, if this is your message, if you claim it, please leave me a message below. Leave me, let me know how, a comment, like, share, subscribe, you guys, and I will see you next time.